What's going on everybody? Today we're going to talk about aligning your projects and making so that way you can get your design nice and precise where you want it. One of the biggest concerns that people have coming from other machines over to an OM Tech machine is alignment. Especially if you're a Glowforge user and you've been using a camera, understanding how that happens can be difficult. So today I'm going to show you how to make a simple disposable jig out of cardboard to turn this into this. So let's get into it. So here in Lightburn, we're gonna set this up first. Um, I just drag out a rectangle and size it to the area that I wanna cut out on the cardboard. And then you need to select it and actually convert it to path, just like you see here with your right click. You have to do this so that way that you can then use the node editor tool and remove the segments so that way it's just cutting out the corner that you want. To do that, you just hover over the line, type D on your keyboard. Then I'm also gonna go and put a circle that I'm gonna make right over the corner of this rectangle or this deconstructed rectangle. So that way it gives me kind of a relief for the block to go inside of the corner. And that'll just snap on that corner as long as you're dragging it from the center. Something to remember is that these two pieces are actually going to cut separate. So you wanna make sure that you use the different locations when you're in current position and so on the cornered portion, the 90 degree angle, you actually wanna use the top left corner start. And then on the circle, you're gonna use the center start. And just something to keep in mind, the way that I do these a lot of the times is I turn on the cut selected graphics and use selected origin. That way you can actually select the things that you're wanting to do and just do those rather than cutting everything. So just getting all my settings dialed in here for cardboard and making sure we don't go for four passes apparently. So now that we're all set up, I'm just gonna go ahead, I frame it out a couple of times, just make sure that it's going where it's supposed to go and then we'll get this thing cut out. So now that that's cut out, I'll get my flag design loaded in here, get the height reset on the laser for the block that's gonna be in there, and we'll get this thing engraving. All right, now we're at the last couple of passes here, and then it's gonna wrap up, and we have essentially a finished product. There's a couple little things that I do, burning edges and stuff like that, but this is what it looks like. If you like this video, please subscribe and stay tuned for the next ones.